Hi, friends. As you can see today, we are diving into Pattern Beauty's new hair dryer. And thank you to Pattern Beauty for partnering with me in presenting this video. I am beyond grateful for the opportunity and for the brand to work with me. It is truly an honor. We are diving into Pattern's new hair dryer, which is an exciting release for the brand. As you know, Pattern Beauty started with shampoos and conditioners, moved into styling products, tools, hairpins, butterfly clips. And now we have our first hot tool for them. So we'll get into the details as well as a demo showing how I achieve this dry twist out. And if it's your first time here, hi, I'm Alicia. I know I don't have a lot of hair content on my channel, but I typically do beauty, some movement. So thank you so much for clicking on the video if you are looking to learn more about Pattern Beauty's new hair dryer. And hopefully if you like what you see, maybe you could stick around watch some more of my videos. When it comes to heat styling, I have my personal beef with heat in terms of in that several years ago when I straightened my hair, done by a professional, by the way, was feeling it. It was probably one of the best done uh, presses in my life. However, consequences, my hair didn't kick back to its original pattern. I remember washing it and after it had dried with all styling products applied, it was, it was different. And I had a little bit of a panic attack in that my hair obviously underwent some severe heat damage and then I had to grow it out from scratch again. But I learned to welcome heat back into my life again, especially since I do use heat for deep conditioning and I use a diffuser to help dry my wash and goes. But what I appreciate about the pattern hair dryer is that it is thoughtfully designed with our heat trauma in mind, if we underwent it. When you open the box, you see Tracy's message about what I agree with in reframing our relationship with heat. Because if we had shunned it from our lives and that we had a traumatic experience from it, hair was damaged, that we're less likely to have heat back in, less likely to blow out our hair, flat iron it. But I think Tracy also wanted us to heal our relationship with heat. And a part of the process, I think, is to welcome it back in. And now that we have Patterns Hair Dryer, I think with all that history with us and he, how it might have not went well, I think we can safely welcome back this hot tool in our life and not fear that we'll undergo the same damage drama that we have in the past. And I have 3C for a texture hair. I mean, probably in between from top to bottom, all the textures on one scalp. I do use heat to dry my wash and goes, especially during the winter time where I wouldn't be able to go out and let it air dry. And the summertime too, sometimes it's just so humid that it will take forever to dry. So that is how I have been using heat in my life. But I do understand that when it comes to certain styles, like a dry twist out, for instance, when you need to blow out your hair first in order to achieve that elongation that I can't typically achieve with a wet twist out. When I twist my hair wet, it's very shrunken. And that's a look as well, because I still love the pattern, the twist leaf behind. But to do them dry, I think gives me a little more length and a much better shape. So I'll show you that demo with how I achieve this look using the hair dryer and pattern products as well. Now for the details about the hair dryer itself. It has a ceramic coated grill that reduces hot spots to ensure even heat distribution to help minimize heat damage. An ion generator turns on to smooth the cuticle or if you want a little more volume, you could turn it off to amplify that. Three heat and two speed settings. You could customize the airflow and how hot you want the dryer. I chose the first speed and second heat option for not only blowing out my hair initially, but also drying my twist. I found that this heat option was good enough for me, but if you wanted a smoother blowout, you can choose the second speed setting as well as the third heat option, especially if you wanted to follow with a flat iron. The lock-in cold shot delivers a burst of cold air to gently set styles and enhance shine and luster. And this is special because it's not one that you have to keep pressing while you're maneuvering around your hair. You lock it in place cold air shoots out and if you want to return to the previous temperature you'll click it again dual locking mechanism ensures that attachments stay firmly in place while styling this is great because the attachments themselves could insert in different angles especially if you need to play with the different ways you can attach them to the dryer to make it easier for you to blow out your hair for myself again with the 3c4a texture going on and 
I have a lot of it, especially in the back. So it is helpful to not only change the angle of the attachments, but to make sure they stay in place because that is something I encountered before when blowing out my hair. You know, she could punch back and I need the attachment <laughs> to stay on the hair dryer, especially if I hold the hair dryer by the handle and not by its nose. It's gonna be more leverage and the dual mechanism ensures that the attachment will not fall off. I know if you experienced that in the past. Those are the hair dryer specs. Let's get into these attachments because we have four of them. Our beloved diffuser to disperse gentle waves of air and help shape and set curls. The wide tooth comb, fam. It's used to amplify and lift curls, but I use this in my demo to just get that initial detangling out of the way before I went in with the brush attachment. I think it's great to have this wide tooth comb attachment, especially the edges you see here are smooth and they don't stab you even if you get close to your scalp. And especially if you have a tighter texture, this will allow you to detangle first initially without applying too much strain on the hair to prevent breakage. And if you wanted to get more air in the roots and create a little more volume, you could use the wide tooth attachment in that way as well. The brush attachment elongates and extends your coils to their fullest potential. This is what I use after the wide tooth comb attachment to get a smoother blowout because I was going in with the two strand twist. And the reason why I wanted to blow out my hair first was to establish that elongation. And when I added the mousse, pretty much that length will stay more or less. And I do enjoy, again, how the shape my hair is in as I recently got it cut in October. So this bottom part is a little shorter, but to blow it out first ensures that when it dries after the twist out, I have a little more volume and movement as well. Concentrator nozzle for focus, wide airflow for blowout. Definitely if you wanted that smoother finish for the blowout, but I used it here to get more air into my hair and I kicked it up to the second speed flow because I needed the twist to separate a little more. And this is great again for that concentrated airflow. If you want the smoother blowout if you are using another brush with the dryer or again to create a little more movement in your hair to refine the styling and i have to talk about the color palette they chose for their dryer and attachments to have this light clay shade i think is earthy is welcoming especially if you're treading back in dipping the toes back into heat styling i think the packaging and the message helps to slowly invite heat back into your life if you're not quite sure about it because again i do recognize that heat Heat is required if you want to experiment more, play with different style techniques like I wanted to do here with my dry twist out. I could have done it wet, but I wanted a little more elongation and to establish that I have to blow out my hair first. Or if I just wanted to do a simple wash and go, having heat in drying your hair so that you're not <laughs> like a wet mop all day, I think is instrumental in saving time, but it also helps that the styling tool itself is safe to use on your hair and will not induce heat damage. To bring you through my demo and how I achieved my dry twist out, I washed my hair with the Pattern Beauty Hydrating Shampoo and Medium Conditioner, and I went in with their transition mask. Fantastic mask and a different experience as usually I am more accustomed to creamier conditioning masks, but this was more like a serum gel texture which was pleasant to apply and the transition mask is formulated to address heat damage or heavy processing if you're trying to repair your hair from the bottom up it definitely helps with that process i use the pattern towel to squeeze out the excess moisture because i do think it helpful that your hair is not sopping wet before you go in with blow drying it definitely cuts the drying time in half so your hair is just not exposed to to heat as long and it also helps with the detangling especially since i use patterns leaving conditioner detangled with their wide tooth comb sectioned my hair and then i went in with the wide tooth attachment and like i said before i especially like this and you'll see it when i get into my bigger section to get air through my hair get those big tangles out which weren't much because i used the leave-in conditioner prior but i think the wide tooth comb attachment is just helpful to start that drying step quickly so when I went in with the brush attachment here, I just had less work to do. And yes, I could have done smaller sections, but I'm a little bit impatient when it comes to blowing out my hair. Yes, smaller sections would have been easier, but with the dual mechanism in place, like this ain't moving. So I felt free to go in on bigger sections that I probably would not have done prior without this technology, without this design, because yeah, the attachment would have been on the floor. 
several times. I made sure to partition my hair now in the way that I wanted it to be styled before I started twisting. So when I parted my hair, and please don't make fun of me, I know my parting skills are subpar, but I tried my best. And this was the kicker. I went in with patterns mousse because the mousse is wet, so it's gonna give that set, but it's also quick drying, right? Which I think phenomenal for dry twist outs. It's gonna give you the curl and the pattern, but it's gonna leave behind the elongation at the same time. And it's very lightweight, so when I opened up my twists, they were easy to do so, and again, the definition and the movement. After all was said and done, I then went in with the diffuser attachment to start drying my hair. Again, with the mousse being quick drying, it's not going to take as long for my hair to dry compared to if I would have done my twist wet. So that's why I prefer this method. And again, for the first blowout section where I use the wide tooth comb attachment and brush attachment, I use the first beat setting on the second heat. I didn't feel the need to go hotter than that. Again, that's personal preference. I thought those settings were fine for me to establish the blowout that I had and I still use those settings to dry my twist again with the mousse being quick drying I didn't think I needed to blast my hair with that much heat unraveled the twist here you can use an oil pattern does have their jojoba oil blend just to have a little more slip on your fingers so the twist can unravel evenly and smoothly and this is where I went in with the diffuser again just to catch those spots that were dry but you know I just needed a little little more but not too much and then I went in with the concentrator nozzle second heat setting but still kept the heat temperature the same to get the movement in the hair to get more separation from my twist so that the hair can open up flower up and get into the shape that I wanted for this style I use all attachments for this hairstyle and I cannot love the results more this encourages me to do dry twist outs more often maybe as like my wash and go preference because now yes again having 3c4a hair several textures throughout my hair does shrink a lot even with wash and goes and I do enjoy the movement it has from a dry twist out so not that I will be doing this every day but I think once a week is reasonable or every two weeks if I wanted to change it up to establish this style or if I just needed something to go out with I could rely on the dry twist out because again it doesn't take long to dry in combination with uh, patterns mousse and the hair dryer technology because it is professional grade and although it dries fast my hair does not feel dry it still feels like itself and integral to have if I decided to go this route or if I just wanted to wear my hair out and blown out that's an option too. So that is it fam, that's how I achieved my dry twist out and I actually did this for the second time today because my tag was showing in the previous video, couldn't have that. And this is a fantastic hair dryer. I am thrilled that Pattern released a hot tool for us in mind, right? Because especially if we had history with heat products that didn't go so well, still a little traumatized by it. And that doesn't mean you have to welcome back heat either. I think everyone's relationship is different, but I know for myself, a part of the reason why I went natural is to further explore my hair pattern, correct? I wanted to see how it was like before I started relaxing it. I wanted to see its potential, what it can do. And a lot of these styles, like the one I have here, do require heat to achieve. And now to have a hair dryer that was intelligently designed with our hair in mind and also our history with heat in mind allows us to go beyond the spectrum of heat styling what that means to us and what that can be in the future so let me know what you think down below fam i would love to know if you have any hot tool stories to share down below how you've healed your relationship with heat and how you've been using hot tools are you taking a look at the pattern hair dryer i am thrilled to have this and again honored to have worked with the brand in showing you their newest release. I cannot wait to see what they have in store because you know what? I like this a lot. Again, thank you to Pattern Beauty for partnering with me on this video. Thank you to you fan for watching. And again, if it's your first time here, I hope this was helpful and I hope that I can see you again. I'll see you down in those comments. And until then, that is a wrap. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope this video helped. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing. 
to my channel. And until then, I will see you on here again with another review tutorial. Maybe another hairstyling video. That didn't go so bad. I'm feeling more confident. Take care, and I will see you again soon.